Charles County Public Schools offers many career and technical education options to students starting in the 11th grade. Career and Technical Education, or CTE, is a pathway to graduation and has many benefits. Students in a CTE program explore an interested career path while in high school. This saves you time and money by getting started now. There are CTE programs at all seven high schools in Charles County, including the Robert D. Steedham Educational Center. CTE offers a unique opportunity to engage high school students in a variety of subjects, incorporating academic, creative, and technical skills. Students experience hands-on learning with state-of-the-art equipment in our labs using real-world simulations and project-based activities. Each of the CTE programs consists of four to five courses within that pathway. CTE courses are taken the last two years of your high school career, so it is important that you pass all of your required core and elective courses during 9th and 10th grade. Just think, while you are still in high school, you can earn industry certifications or even college credit. This way, you are more marketable than someone who does not have the skill set or knowledge like you after graduation. When students participate in a career technical education program, they have direct connection to local businesses and educational partners. Because of the skills that our students earn while in high school, many are offered jobs within our local community. In choosing a CT program to take your last years of high school, there are some options right at your zone school. There is no application to fill out Simply tell your counselor when you complete your course selection sheet. Career Research and Development, CRD. Career Research and Development is a two-year program. The program provides students with academic, technical, and the job skills necessary to further your education and employment in a career field that you are interested in. The program consists of two courses portfolio development taken during 11th grade, and your work-based learning experience during 12th grade. We are very proud of the partnerships we have with over 100 businesses within our community. Business, Management, and Finance. If you choose Business, Management, and Finance, you will be prepared for a career in Business Administration and Management where you will apply accounting, marketing, and management concepts to realistic business scenarios. There are four courses within this program. During the 11th grade year, students will take principles of business management and entrepreneurship and principles of accounting and finance. During 12th grade, students will take advanced business management and complete the business management and finance capstone. Let's take a look at business, management, and finance. Do you want to be your own boss? Do you want to own your own business one day? The business management pathway is the place for you. The pathway is available at every high school, and you do not need to apply. The business management pathway will teach you how to plan your business, manage your money, and market your product. In your senior year, you get to work with a business owner in the community to put your business plan into action. At the end of this program, you are able to earn industry certifications such as the ASK Certification for Entrepreneurship and Management. People in this field can earn anywhere from sixty-two to $110,000 a year. Get ready to start your business today. The third program available right at your zone high school by choosing it through completing your course selection sheet is the Teacher Academy of Maryland program, TAM. The TAM program prepares students for post-secondary education and other careers in the education profession. When students successfully complete the program, they are eligible to receive college credit at 11 colleges in Maryland. While in high school, students are also able to become certified as a paraprofessional. This means they are able to work as an instructional assistant right after graduation. 
There are four courses to the TAM program. During 11th grade, students take human growth and development and teaching as a profession. During 12th grade, students take foundations of curriculum and instruction and education academy internship. The internship is within a real classroom in Charles County Public Schools. Let's take a look at Teacher Academy of Maryland. Do you want to be a teacher? The Teacher Academy of Maryland program prepares students for a career in the education profession. The program focuses on human growth and development through adolescence, teaching as a profession, and curriculum and instruction. Students enrolled in this program will have the opportunity to participate in an internship to gain real work experience. Upon completion of the program, students may receive college credit and be eligible for scholarships to several Maryland community colleges and universities. There are other career and technical education programs available to you to participate in during the end of your high school career, but these do require an application. Maryland Fire and Rescue Institute the Maryland Fire and Rescue Institute provides training for students at one of our local fire companies. While in the program, students are required to complete the minimum 393 hours of work-based learning as well as taking the seven certification exams. By the completion of the program, students can be certified as well as have earned college credit. Maryland Fire and Rescue Institute is a one-year program. Students can apply to take the program during 11th or 12th grade, but must be 16 years old in order to participate. There are two courses that this program consists of, Fire Emergency Medical Training 1 and Fire Emergency Medical Training 2. Let's take a look, Maryland Fire and Rescue Institute. Do you want to pursue an exciting career as a firefighter or EMT? Do you want to give back to your community? The Fire Science Program is offered in partnership with instructors from the Maryland Fire and Rescue Institute of the University of Maryland. Students in this program progress through courses on fire prevention and control and emergency medical technology. The program includes classroom instruction and training at local fire companies in the community. Students will have the opportunity to immediately implement classroom instruction and gain real-world experience through work-based learning. Upon completion of the program, Students will receive nationally recognized certifications. The next five application programs are all two-year programs held at the Robert G. Steedham Educational Center. Automotive Technician. The first year of the Automotive Technician program provides a strong foundation of training for students. It is here that they learn vehicle terminology and systems, preventative maintenance, tool and personal safety, proper use of tools and equipment, and automotive physics. During the second year of the program, students continue to learn and perform complete vehicle maintenance and repairs, as well as preparing for gainful employment and or entry into post-secondary education. Throughout the program, students have an opportunity to take the following industry certifications. OSHA 10, Recognition, Avoidance, Abatement, and Prevention of Safety and Health Hazards in the Workplace, Brakes, Suspension and Steering, Engine Repair, Maintenance and Light Repair, Engine Performance, Electrical Electronic Systems, Heating and Air Conditioning for Automobiles, Manual Drive Train, and Automatic Transmission and Transaxle. In addition to certifications, students can earn college credit to continue in the automotive field, such as Community College of Baltimore County, Penn College, Montgomery College, Advanced Technology Institute, Nashville Auto Diesel College, and Ohio Technical College. Some potential careers that students are interested in pursuing after completing the Automotive Technician Program include Automotive Service Technician, Service Manager, Diesel Mechanic, Front End Specialist, Marine Technician, Auto Designer, Aircraft Mechanic, and Small Gasoline Engine Mechanic. Let's take a look at the Automotive Technician Program. Do you enjoy working with your hands and have a passion for automobiles? 
Students enrolled in the Automotive Technician Program at the Robert D. Steedham Educational Center learned the skills needed for the service and maintenance of today's advanced automobile systems guided by the nationally recognized Automotive Service Excellence Standards. Just think, you can be nationally certified in the diagnosis and repair of brakes, suspension systems, suspension and steering, engine performance, electrical electronic systems, automotive HVAC, and transmission systems, all before you graduate high school. Graduates can earn up to $100,000 a year as a service technician, service manager, diesel mechanic, or an auto designer. Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Like all of our programs, the Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning program is outfitted with industry standard equipment, which allows students to be exposed to real life work environments. During the first year, some of the things that students will learn is to decipher blueprints, troubleshoot electrical circuits, and learn basic refrigeration. During the second year, students will also learn heating systems, heat pumps, and heat load calculations perform on-the-job activities such as installation of gas and oil furnaces and installation of outdoor units. Students will also learn to fabricate ductwork. We encourage and work with our seniors to find a job in the HVAC field that they can go to during school as part of our work-based learning program. While in the HVAC program, students will take their OSHA 10 certification this is a highly valuable certification for all construction job sites and teaches recognition, avoidance, abatement, and prevention of safety and health hazards in the workplace. Other industry certifications available to our students are through the National Center for Construction Education and Research. NCCER certification means that the holder is highly trained, knowledgeable, and qualified to do the job anywhere in the country. These certifications include NCCER Core, NCCER Level 1 HVAC, and NCCER Level 2 HVAC. Another highly valuable certification is the Chlorofluorocarbon CFC certification. Some potential careers that students are interested in pursuing after completing the HVAC program include HVAC Technician, Engineering, Design Specialist, Plumber, installer, sheet metal worker, maintenance technician, refrigeration technician, and a small appliance repair technician. Let's take a look, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. If you enjoy working with your hands and would like to train in a laboratory that simulates real work circumstances to gain the skills needed to work on mechanical and electrical equipment, then the Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning program at the Robert D. Steedham Educational Center is for you. Students will discover how to decipher blueprints, learn to install new HVAC system units, perform maintenance and service repairs for both residential and commercial units, and troubleshoot heat pumps, gas and oil heating, and boilers. Students earning a CFC, OSHA, NCCER core curriculum, and HVAC level national certification gives graduates a competitive edge earning a yearly salary between $50,000 to $100,000 or more with a career in HVAC. Interactive Media Production Students enrolled in the Interactive Media Production program discover principles of art media, design, and communication through the use of many interactive media software programs. Students will get real-world, hands-on experience creating projects in the areas of graphic design, digital video production, audio production, digital photography, motion graphics, and web design. Interactive media production students have an opportunity to take a number of Adobe certifications including Dreamweaver, Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, and Premiere Pro. Additionally, students have an opportunity to earn college credit through our partnership with the College of Southern Maryland. Some potential careers that students are interested in pursuing after completing the interactive media production program include graphic designer, multimedia artist, photographer, videographer, webmaster, 
news anchor, and character animation. Let's take a look at interactive media production. Do you have a passion for art and enjoy working with computers? Students in the interactive media production program at the Robert D. Steedham Educational Center learn about the principles of art, media, design, and communication through the use of many interactive media software programs. Students will get real-world, hands-on experience creating projects in the areas of graphic design, digital video production, audio production, digital photography, motion graphics, and web design. Students will have an opportunity to earn national certification in numerous Adobe professional software application programs, including, but not limited to, Photoshop, Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe InDesign, and Adobe Illustrator. Students will have an opportunity to earn college credits through the dual enrollment program with the College of Southern Maryland. We have two medical-based programs at the Robert G. Steedham Educational Center. The first is the Pharmacy Technician Program. The Pharmacy Technician Program uses project and problem-based learning and clinical experiences, as well as classroom and lab instruction to teach students about the field of healthcare. In year one, students focus on foundations of medicine, health sciences, structure and function of the human body, hands-on procedures that are used in healthcare services, and the exploration of health career opportunities. In the second year of the program, Students learn pharmacy operations, basic pharmacology, sterile and extemporaneous compounding, IV preparation, and pharmacy management. All of the students participate in an internship at a local medical facility in the area of their choice. We have an amazing partnership with CVS. For any of our students that finish their internship with CVS successfully and pass their national certification, CVS will guarantee them employment as a pharmacy technician across the nation. We are currently working on similar agreements with other pharmacies. There are three certifications that our pharmacy technician students can earn while in the program. Standard First Aid, Basic Life Support for Healthcare Providers, also known as CPR, and the Pharmacy Technician Industry Certification. This is the certification needed in order to work alongside pharmacists to help fill prescriptions. We have two partnership agreements allowing students to earn college credit while in high school, College of Southern Maryland and Stevenson University. There are so many potential careers that students are interested in that this program can help provide foundational information to include pharmacy technician, pharmacist, nurse, research scientist, hospital director, physician, and home health care provider. Let's look at the pharmacy technician program. If the thought of helping others or working in the field of medicine interests you, then the Pharmacy Technician Program at the Robert D. Steedham Educational Center may be the program for you. Through project-based learning and hands-on lab instruction, students develop the skills to pursue careers such as a pharmacy technician, registered nurse, dentist, researcher, physician, and even a veterinarian. Based on their career interests, students participate in an internship within the community and work closely with healthcare professionals in diverse medical facilities. Students who successfully complete the Pharmacy Technician Program can earn their national certification as well as college credits through the College of Southern Maryland or Stevenson University, all before graduating high school. The second medical-based program at the Robert D. Steedham Educational Center is the Physical Rehabilitation Program. This program also uses project and problem-based learning and clinical experiences, as well as classroom and lab instruction to teach students about the field of healthcare. In year one, students focus on foundations of medicine, health sciences, structure and function of the human body, hands-on procedures that are used in healthcare services, and the exploration of health career opportunities. In the second year of the physical rehabilitation program, the students focus on the evaluation of orthopedic pathologies, creation of rehabilitation protocols, 
and the design of performance exercise programs. All of the students participate in an internship at a local medical facility in the area of their choice. There are three certifications that our physical rehabilitation students can earn while in the program. Standard first aid, basic life support for healthcare providers, also including CPR, and the National Personal Trainer Certification through the National Strength Professionals Association. Just like Pharmacy Tech, we have agreements allowing students to earn college credit while in high school through the College of Southern Maryland and Stevenson University. Some of the many potential careers that students are interested in that this program can help provide foundational information include physical therapist, occupational therapist, athletic trainer, physician, and a nurse. Let's look at the physical rehabilitation program. Are you interested in how the body works and enjoy working with people? The students in the physical rehabilitation program at the Robert D. Steedham Educational Center use project-based learning and hands-on lab instruction to learn how to diagnose, treat, rehabilitate, and strengthen medical conditions and ailments. Students can explore careers as a physical therapist, occupational therapist, athletic trainer, nurse, or physician. Based on their career interest, students participate in an internship within the community and work closely with healthcare professionals in diverse medical facilities. Students who successfully complete the physical rehabilitation program can earn their national certification as well as college credits through the College of Southern Maryland or Stevenson University, all before graduating high school. Now that you've heard all of the career and technical education options available to you as an 11th and 12th grader, what do you do? Well, it's time to apply. Students eligible to apply must meet the following qualifications. Both the student and parent or guardian must be current residents of Charles County, and the student must currently be enrolled this school year as a 10th grader in Charles County Public Schools. Step one, which is going on right now, Students must complete the online application with all required information. And step two, the student and parent must electronically sign the online application. Step three will happen in January or February. For all of the programs that students were interested in, they will complete an interest survey. Applicants will be contacted by the school. The application must be completed at one time. It cannot be saved and finished at a later time. This means, you need to set aside enough time to complete it. The last application that is submitted will be the official application. So, if you submit an application, then decide to submit another one with more or updated information, only the last application that is completed will be considered. It is the official application. No other application will be reviewed. Admission decisions are based on the following criteria. 40% is student interest expressed on the interest survey. 28% is based on academic performance in 9th grade and the first semester of 10th grade as it relates to the program of your choice. 25% is based on the application questions. And 7% is based on high school attendance in 9th grade and the first semester of 10th grade. However, Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, all students will be credited the full 7% for attendance. Vacancies are filled through random selection. So students that meet the minimum eligibility based on these criteria will be placed in a random pool and all available spots will be selected on a random selection. So. Apply now. The application window closes on Tuesday, December 22nd at 3 p.m. Again, the window closes Tuesday, December 22nd at 3 p.m. To apply, visit the website here. It is also available on the CCPS website, your high school website, the Robert D. Steedham Educational website, and also can be found on social media throughout Charles County Public Schools. Do you have questions? 
feel free to reach out to Sandy Rooney at her email here, srooney at ccboe.com.